from Hollywood, it's the, 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 the Tom Likas Show. Oh, God. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of a radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing whacker or a convicted felon. No. I am your host. Right on our telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. It's Thursday and time for another edition of Like Is 101. Like Is 101. Welcome to the class. Spend less dough and get more ass. If baby want a steak, baby got to wait. Because I ain't spending more than $40 on a date. Buy ya, lick it, don't buy ya. B, if she answers the cell phone, disappear. Want to get laid? Gotta be an auto. Spike, use prophylactic, switch to Tabasco. Hit it, quit it, no time to spoon. These are the rules of Professor Poon. Got a knocked out, but you look in the switch. Pull a Hail Mary and jump that bitch. Kiss 101. Welcome to class, son. Why? Kiss 101. Why? Kiss 101. Welcome to class, son. Why? Kiss 101. It's like it's 101, the ongoing on here adult education course that teaches men how to get more tail for less money. Just as importantly, we teach women how men think. I am your professor. This is my classroom. Class is in session. This is where we teach the tenets of like it's 101. Many of you boys have participated in this class. Many of you have gotten a lot out of it. Some of you uh, mistake this class for something it's not. And I always like to start off nowadays by telling you what we don't do. What we don't do is we do not help you fix your marriage. If you are married and you want me to fix your marriage, I I'm not your man. And the reason I'm not your man is because I've been divorced four times. Okay, I'm the wrong guy. Don't be coming to me. Uh, I learned my lesson about being married. Don't be calling me here and asking me how to fix your marriage. I don't recommend marriage. I don't recommend relationships. I don't recommend moving in, recommend moving in together. I definitely do not recommend having babies with some skank who's going to be taking money out of your paycheck for the rest of your life. It's that simple. It's that simple. Let me reinforce some of the tenets of Lycus 101 we don't talk about all that often. We avoid serious relationships. And by the way, if we are ever tempted to get into a serious relationship, here are some of the things I, I tell you look out for that are red flags. If your girl is hooked up being on Facebook or MySpace or any one of these social networking websites, she's doing it to meet guys. I. Now, if you're just banging somebody, who cares if they're on MySpace or Facebook? In fact, that lets you know this is a sexually active person. But you don't want to be in a relationship with somebody like that. You absolutely don't. One of the things we students do not tolerate is women who go out with us and then are constantly texting, constantly on the phone, constantly responding to somebody. You know, if you're going to be spending up to $40 on somebody to spend the evening with them, you are paying for their exclusive attention. Anytime you are with a woman and she starts texting or talking on the cell phone, you quietly, confidently get up and say, I'll be right back. Then you leave. <laughs> Don't get, and here's why I tell you this, not, not because I want you to be a pussy. I don't want there to be a scene in public. No scenes. And if you tell her you're leaving because she's talking on the cell phone, you can get in one of those public scenes where you will end up looking like more of an a-hole than you really are. And you run the risk of whatever trouble goes with having a scene in public. No scenes. You do not need to be in a relationship. You do not need to be married. And why, oh, why, oh, why would you be so stupid as to have sex without a condom and run the risk that some chick is going to have your baby? 
I don't understand this. You know, having babies and having baby mamas, that, that is just so ghetto. It is so wrong. It is so... It, 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 you're just essentially saying, I'm never going to accomplish anything with my life. No babies, no baby mamas, no baby mama dramas, none of that. Condoms 100% of the time. Period. When you are done getting a chick soused so that you can have your way with her, there is no stopping off on the way to her place. If she tells you she's hungry or she needs to stop off for breakfast or something, uh, yeah, let me tell you something. That's a filibustering tactic. And another one you never do when you're out with a chick. If you've been out with a chick drinking and you are now ready to perform... Do not let her talk you into this. This is a female tactic, and I want you to be aware of it, boys. Ever been out with a woman, and, and you know, you've had enough. You've had enough socializing. You've had enough techno dance music. You've had enough uh, boozing, okay? You just want to get the job done, and you feel like you're on the way to get that done, and then she says, I know a club. It's open late. I know this is after hours. Forget it. The After Hours Club will be followed by breakfast at IHOP or Denny's. It will be followed by sunrise. It will be followed by her going, I'm going to be to work in two hours. And you are not getting laid. Don't waste your time or money on this. No After Hours Clubs. No late night raves. No dance clubs. Stay out of the dance clubs, boys. You know, white boys can't jump and white boys can't dance. And don't want to dance. White boys who are out there dancing are just pathetic losers who have no game. Okay? You're on that dance floor because you don't know how to get her to come home. Don't be one of those. If she wants to dance, drop her off at her favorite club and go home. Because you're done. She's already letting you know it's not happening tonight. Ever been out with that chick at 2 a.m., the bar closes, and now she'd like to stop off and get something to eat? Forget it. No sex. No woman is going to yeah, have sex with you with pancake breath or bacon breath or burger breath. It's not going to happen. The minute she asks you to take her out to dinner, drop her at her favorite restaurant and get the hell out of Dodge. You see, the purpose of Like Is 101 is to keep you from wasting time, money, and energy trying to get sex out of women who are not going to give you what you want. We believe in the three strikes you're out rule here. If a woman's not put out in the first three dates, that's it. She had her chance. Dump that bitch. Move on. We don't spend more than $40 on a date, and we do not date single mothers. We just don't do it. Single mothers already made one mistake that some poor sucker is probably paying for right now. We are not going to be next. By the way, another reminder. There are no uh, best friends coming along on dates. You cannot bring the ugly uh, warthog who's her best friend. You're not buying dinner or drinks for a third or a third and a fourth party. It's not happening. The minute she suggests bringing other people along, you tell her you're busy. You tell her it's not happening. You tell her you got to go somewhere. The minute she wants to bring other people along, let me tell you something. When a girl says, I want to bring my friend along, here's what she's saying to you. Listen carefully. She's saying, I'm not going to have sex with you. Have you had that happen? My friend Jennifer, she's all by herself. She just broke up with her boyfriend. Do you mind if we bring her along? I'm not going to have sex with you. By the way, the best friend, Jennifer, let me tell you something. No matter where you go, Jennifer is going to be too hot, too cold. She's going to need to go to the bathroom. She's going to feel sick to her stomach. She's going to drink too much. She's going to drink on an empty stomach and then throw up. She's going to be tired. It's going to be late. The babysitter is going to have to be uh, relieved at midnight or 1 a.m. Whatever it is, the friend that she insists on bringing along is going to have some kind of problem. <laughs> and she is going to be the, the exit strategy, if you will. The friend is going to be the excuse that your girl is going to use to not give you what you're paying for. 
Just say no to other people on a date. There are no other people. A date is two people. The purpose of a date is to get laid. If you have a date plan right now and getting laid is not the clear objective, cancel it now. We're on the cusp of the weekend. Cancel it. My job is to keep you out of relationships, keep you out of commitments, keep you out of marriage, to keep you from wasting time, money, and energy on chicks who don't put out. The purpose of a date is to get laid, boys. Can you remember that? Can you? Now, whether you have questions for your professor or whether your professor makes you angry, you can call at 1-800-5800-TOM. It's 1-800-5800-866. And your professor is an international phenomenon with an international phone number. And if you're calling from another country, if you're listening to us on the Internet or a podcast, you can call this telephone number. The country code is 1. The area code is 323, the number 520 -6211. That's one three two three five two zero six two one one. And we will take on students from around the world on this edition of Like Us One Oh One. It's Like Us One Oh One. I am your professor. At one eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. Kami, on the Tom Liga Show, hello. Hi, Tom. Hi. I'm mad at you. You're mad at me? Why? Because, I mean, I love your show. I listen to it all the time with my boyfriend, who I've been in a relationship with for three years. And just, like, sometimes you push it. I push what? You push the limit. You know, you have your opinion. People listen to you because they agree with you. But, I mean, you're always emphasizing, don't be in a relationship. Don't right. be married. That's right. Why are you so against the relationship? Because there's no benefit to the man. How is there no benefit when you have a girl who takes care of you, who makes sure everything is okay, makes sure you're on top of your everything? I don't need anybody to make sure I'm on top of my everything. I do just fine on my own. But it feels good to know someone cares about you that much to do so, right? And you know what feels better? Knowing that lots of women care about me. Why? And that any one of them might make breakfast for me in the morning or that any one of them might come over if I'm sick. Rather than having just one, I've got a whole roster. Why do you need a whole It's roster? like the taxi squad. And they're called the taxi squad because when I'm done banging them, I give them money for a taxi. You're crazy. I mean, like I said, I love you, Tom, but, like, you emphasize not getting married and not being in a relationship. Way yes. Too much. Why do you mean way, way too, too much? much? Who are you to tell me how? what is way too much? I mean, uh, th this is my show. You know, you want to do a show where people don't talk about that, then go uh, send a tape and a resume to another station, okay? But uh, this is my show. This is my class. You're right. You're right. And, and what's the problem? Does your boyfriend actually consider uh, getting out of the relationship because he hears me say that? No, never. Why then why are you concerned? Why are you concerned about it? I'm not concerned about it. It's because it's not that wrong, and you make the good guys. I mean, you're too young to be in a relationship you. anyway. You are too no, young. I have friends. No, 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 no. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. No, Just I'm not too young, and you make a lot of good guys out there consider being in a serious relationship or not because of what you say every day. And that's not fair. I mean, like, what do you mean it's not fair? It. It's not fair. You, 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 honestly, you brainwash a lot of guys. Out How here. can I brainwash anybody? I'm just a guy on the radio. Yeah, well, you're a more powerful guy than you think then. Really? Well, who yeah. do you know? Who do you know that I've brainwashed? I don't know anybody. That then how do you know I'm brainwashing anybody? anybody? But because people say what you say, people say, oh, Tom was saying this, and I heard this on Tom, and all this stuff. You know, I hear people talking about you. You're a popular guy, but, you know. And you know why I'm popular? Hard. You know why I'm popular? You know why I'm popular? Because I speak the truth. In some cases. No, no. If, if I was not speaking the truth, I would not be so popular. I mean, not necessarily. What do you mean? So you think there are guys doing shows that people don't relate to, who, who don't speak uh, their mind in a way that the audience relates to, who are, who are very successful? Who are those people? 
I think there are guys out there that agree with you on certain subjects and on others they don't. But well, you, maybe your boyfriend probably agrees with me more than he tells you. He's too much of a pussy to admit it. No, we listen to you together every day. For that doesn't mean he's months. telling you. That doesn't mean he's telling you everything he's thinking. <laughs> of course not. But I mean, you're right about a lot of stuff. But it's like I'm right about this. What does he need a girlfriend for? To be with him and to spend time with him and to love There's him. There's plenty of women out there who'll do that for him. Whatever. You don't want that one consistent person that you know that will have oh, to Oh, are you kidding? He's. You know what? He's seen you naked so many times now. It's like, it's like a rerun of I Love Lucy. You know, he's been there. He's seen that. You think those girls that you have on your roster would, you know, be there for you if you needed them or do anything for you or that you can count on them? No. Actually, yeah, well, the point is, if one can't be counted upon, I just go to the next number on the list. You're crazy. Tom. Uh, there's nothing crazy about it. <laughs> it's out of this world how you emphasize so hard. Don't get married. Right. Don't get married. Don't get, married. Don't get engaged. Not? Don't move in. Don't have a girlfriend. Absolutely. Some people like that. Some people want that. Because they have no game or because they're pussies or because yeah. they, they never had a girl talk to them before. That's who needs guys with no money, guys with no future. No, so you don't believe in soulmates? No, I don't believe in soulmates or 29 levels of compatibility or eHarmony.com. No, I don't. Wow. I no, I don't. I, yeah, you believe in soulmates. So in other words, if your boyfriend was hit by a bus, you would remain uh, uh, untouched for the rest of your life because your soulmate was dead? No. No. Oh, no. But, well, what about I mean, soulmates? Part of you. Well, oh, I mean, well, yeah, you got this soulmate until you get to the next soulmate. No, then you find someone to replace your soulmate. Well, that's my point. A soulmate, by the way, in case you don't know the definition of a soulmate, uh -huh. a soulmate is supposed to be somebody who is the one and only person on the planet made exactly for you. Right. And that means that if your soulmate was hit by a bus, there'd be nobody who could measure up to that because your yes. soulmate would be gone. Then it's probably your destiny to be alone. But you just said you'd just go out and find another soulmate. This I mean, is such baloney. Happened. No. Oh, yes. But I do love you, Tom. Like, I really, really, really do. As well you and should. Just, you love me because I tell the truth, even though yeah, it makes you uncomfortable. About some things, but then, like... No, I tell the truth about this. Guys don't need to be in relationships. They don't. Some guys do. Some guys do. Yeah, blind guys. <laughs> you know, I imagine Stevie Wonder needs someone to dress him every day. I understand. No, there are some But guys But the like, point is, most of us don't. Right? About some things? I, I, I'm sure that old geezer who married Anna Nicole Smith needed somebody to put the oxygen mask on every day. <laughs> oh, Tom, yeah. I'm I mean, there are, Tom. yes, I agree. There are guys like that. But most of us, those of us who are, uh, who are of sound mind, those of us who can walk on two legs, those of us who can see out of our two eyes, we do not need women around. We don't no. need a relationship. There are educated. By the way, you should well see off. my home okay. clean as a whistle, organized. Uh, my well, kitchen is organized. I, I by the way, I now maintain two homes. I have a home up in Santa Barbara County. Same thing. Everything in its place. That's Everything. Tom like it. There are no other guys. What do you think I have? What do you think I have? I have Alfred the butler up there taking care of everything. I handle this stuff. Yeah, because you're you. But the because, oh, because I'm like, me. Well, that's what I'm saying. If you want to be, I'm sure there are some losers out there who need to uh, date their mommy, like probably your boyfriend. <laughs> oh, wow. Well, Tom, I just got really mad at today at you, but but we're good now. But, darling, you know you know what? As As mad as you get at me, there's always an open palm with your name on it. Really? Yeah. Leave you a little imprint there. I could do that. No. No? No, thank you. Come on. I'll bet, I'll bet even your boyfriend would like that. <laughs> no, thank you, Tom. I'm in a serious, committed, healthy, lovely, fun relationship. Have you ever noticed the word committed comes up a lot when you're talking yeah, about relationships? Right, because, That's because, because I think most people who are in relationships should be committed. No, because a lot of men cheat. It's it's also not an accident that the word institution and the word marriage come up together a lot. Because many of these people should be committed to an institution. <laughs> oh, Tom, what girl did this to you? It doesn't matter, darling. I'm glad. You know what's the best thing that ever happened to me? I'm free. I'm liberated. 
Yeah, it works for you. It does. And it works for so many of the thousands of guys who tune in. Until when, though? Until they get lonely and they realize that they Anytime I get lonely, I pull out the old BlackBerry and start uh, dialing for dollars here. You hit them up on the BlackBerry Messenger? I hit them up. <laughs> Can I get your BlackBerry Messenger number, Tom? Only if you'll come over when I message you. No, I am in a committed well the only why would i want to have have a people with committed relationships sending me text messages they're friends you can have friends no 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 there's no no, th no there's no such thing as uh, as as friends uh, between uh, opposite uh, sexes you can't do that come on tom that why would besides that, that time i'm wasting chit chatting with you i could be spending talking to chicks who are going to put out you're all about that. Of course. You are so all about that. So what? I'm a guy. That's how guys are. Okay, but not all the time. <laughs> Darling. Sometimes it's fine. If I have, time. by the way, I've got friends. Okay? I got lots of, I don't need any new friends. I mean, I guess, but you could have acquaintances. I don't need, do I don't need any new acquaintances. I can. I barely have time for the people I know now. Once again, because you're Tom Riker. That, that's well, I'm that's who I am, and that's who I will always be. Yeah, because I think you are on a different level than all these people that you're talking to. Well, again, so you're admitting to me that it's the losers and the poor people who need relationships and marriage, and I agree with you. <laughs> I didn't say that, but okay. Now, yeah, well, come on, you are agreeing with that. I'm you just made that point. Well, I'm Tom Likas, and I'm on this higher level. Well, you're right. Now, if that I was the guy, if I don't. was the guy, look, if I was that guy who was dressed as a big uh, cup of Coke, standing outside a Quiznos, waving people into the parking lot, that's the kind of loser who would need a girlfriend. Why? Because he's working hard to support his Working family. hard? How much do you think they're paying him over there? Standing around with a little cup that says, mmm, toasty. So you think all the people that work like a... Sean He's got a big straw coming out of his head. Have you ever seen... I'm not making this up. Have you ever seen this? I know what you're talking about, yeah. All right. That, yeah, guy, prob that guy probably has a girl. You wouldn't date someone like that? No, I probably wouldn't. Why not? You just said he works so hard. Why wouldn't you date a guy like that? Yeah, well, I mean... Because you're as shallow as I am. That's why. No, because I work hard and I'll probably make more money than him, so I would want someone on my level, obviously education-wise. But come on, isn't it all about love? Yeah, but love is... Cups of Coke time. deserve I love, think. too. Love comes after you get to know... And there's a guy who stands outside a subway. He uh, looks like a big sub. You know, he has a big $5 painted on himself, and he's got a little lettuce leaf coming out. It looks like hair. Have you ever seen that guy? No, not yet. Come on. By the way, do you know Brad Pitt? Brad Pitt once used to work for El Pollo Loco. He was dressed as a big chicken. Women didn't want to go out with him then. No. Nope. Now, look, how many women turned down Brad Pitt? Yep. So the next time you see a guy dressed as a cup of Coke, you really ought to get to know him better. I'm not. You're the one that's calling him a loser. He is a loser. But but you never know. Every Every thousand guys, one of them might be Brad Pitt. Oh, Tom. Come on, darling. How about that guy? Ever go to Las Vegas? You got yeah. that guy on Las Vegas Boulevard handing out little cards going, check it out, check it out. That guy's probably got a girlfriend. He needs a girlfriend. <laughs> he does. He's not going to have a roster of women who come over any time he wants. If he finds one woman who shows him love, he's going to latch right into that. <laughs> but why would anybody who has a good career, good job, somebody who's successful, want to be locked in with one woman? There you go. <laughs> Ipso facto. Yes, yes, you're right. I said it. And you knew it was true all along. Yeah, I just said you pissed me off a little bit today. That's it. So love you. I know you do, dear. Can you, uh, Tom, before we hang up, can you take me out with a bong hit and the African one? I certainly can. Tom 
like it. 1 800 5800 Tom. 1 800 5800 866. My curriculum vitae is as follows. I'm a cunning linguist and a master debater. I'm also, uh, I'm an amateur gynecologist. I've got Russian hands and Roman fingers. And on top of that, I also am the one and only state board certified interpreter who can interpret women into English. Oh, okay. It's the Tom Likas Show. Tom Likas Show. I'm 1 800 5 800 Tom. That is our telephone number. It's your professor speaking. This is Sorrow. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, Sorrow. Tom, it's honestly a great pleasure to speak with you. It is indeed. Yeah, and then the caller before, she did not know what she was talking about. All that lovey dovey stuff. BS. BS. Yeah. Anyways, check this out. So I was on a date with uh, with one of my girlfriends years ago, and on our way back, she was um, texting on the phone all the way back, and, you know, I got a little suspicious. I was like, you know, what is she doing? So, you know, I, I didn't want to be a pussy. I, you know, I wanted to have some confidence in me. I was like, hey, B, you know, can you, uh, I'm going to stop real quick. Can you check if uh, I have a flat tire? And she was like, oh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll check for it. So she opened the door. As soon as she stepped out, I took out, I took off. I was I was gone. I was gone. Love that. Of course. I was like, what kind of stuff is this? I'm going to take her on a date and spend my time with her, and she's going to be texting some other guy? That, some of the guys should be hooking up after she exactly. tells you, oh, my God, look at the time. It's 930. Exactly. What, what kind of stuff is that? So I was like, you know what? Let me just do this. It'll be amazing. And you know what? It worked. Like us one-on-one rocks. So that's about it. And it was, it was By the way, did she blow up your phone? Oh, of course. Pick it up. There's plenty of, <laughs> plenty of other girls out there. You know what I'm saying? Why should I be stuck to one? You know? I agree with you. Exactly. So, Tom, uh, is it okay if you give a shout out to my mom? She's a she loves you a really? lot. Is she hot? Your mom? Of course. She's beautiful. How old is your mom? Uh, she's about 42. Really? Yeah. She's still with your dad? Of course. Come on now. Well, you never know. <laughs> yeah. So. Can you give a shout-out to her? She, she's listening uh, to you right now. Hi, Mom. Yeah. Tom, can you take me out Kobe style, please? Of course I can. Oh. Oh. This is about us. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Yeah, it beats in my heart. Oh. Yeah, the air I breathe. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Oh. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. It's like us 101. This is Philip. Hello. Hello, teacher. Hello, student. How you doing, Tom? How you doing, Tom? Doing okay, Philip. Awesome, man. Uh, listen, uh, I want to, you know, see if you can give me some advice. Uh, I'm in a situation here. I've been with my girl for about five years now. Strike at one. <laughs> at the beginning, you know, it's like any, probably any other relationship. It's great. It's awesome. Everything's good, right? Uh, a few years went by. And uh, she's uh, becoming a controlling skank. Uh, I can't take it anymore, Tom. You know? And and uh, things got worse after her sister came from uh, Arizona to L.A. She moved to L.A. And uh, she started hanging out with her. And that's when uh, things started changing. So why do you tolerate it? Uh, I, I've been tolerating this for like six months, Tom. I'm asking why. Uh I don't know. I don't have a clue, man. Uh, you know, my girl cooks, cleans, uh, you know. Wait, wait. She lives with you? Yes. Why'd you yes. let that happen? Oh, man. I just want I'm, I'm confused right now, Tom. What are you confused about? Because uh, I don't know what I want right now. I, I don't know if I want, like, a girl that, that'll treat me right, but... You just want to get laid. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. So you don't need to have them living at your home? Right, right. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I think I'm going to kick her out to the curve. I just need someone uh, to tell me so. And, and, and I'll save you. I'll it. save you some time. If you, if she's been your girlfriend since you were 22, you were too young to have a girlfriend. Right, right. By the way, did she let her sister like stay at your place? Uh, she did, I mean, didn't we, she? 
Well, she did, didn't she? Yeah, yeah. Uh huh. You know. Why uh, did you tolerate that? Oh uh, goodness gracious! I don't know, Tom. What do you mean you, you know, don't my, know? Hey, you know, Tom. You know what my friends be saying? Uh, you know what? She cooks for you. She cleans for you. She uh does this, does that. But you know, it's like. They don't live with her. You know, I, I got to put up with all her nagging and her controlling uh, wh her ways. You know, I mean, she's changed. And I, I'm, I'm just fed up with it, Tom. Why are you such a pussy? Why do you tolerate that? Um, I'm no longer going to tolerate it no more, Tom. That's it. I, I just, all my friends tell me not to dump her because she treats me right. And so they're basically saying, put up with it. Let and, them move in with her. You know? Let them move in with her. Let them live with her. I'll probably call my friend, you know, maybe tell him, hey, you know, lend, lend her for the weekend, you know what I mean? Yeah. But um, I, I need I need your uh, your help, Tom. What well, well, well just, just, we'd call her right now. We could uh, take care of this right now. Snip oh, this in the bud. She, she despises you, Tom. Perfect. She wouldn't even listen to the radio. That's how you know I'm doing it right. <laughs> Oh man! I actually, I'm, I'm 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 on my way home from work right now, and uh, she's still at work herself. So, so uh, let me ask you this question: Do you own this house, or is it an apartment? What is it? Oh, it's, uh, we rent an apartment. I'm in Carson. Yep. How many months left on the lease? Uh, no lease. Uh, we had it for one year, and it's it's gone. It's from month to month right now. So you can leave at any time. Yes, sir. All you need and, is and, and everything I've um everything in the house, it's all mine. I've Purchase every single furniture, piece of furniture. Uh, well, rather than the... rather than telling her what you're going to do, don't be stupid. Yeah. Get yourself an apartment. Okay. All right. Now, you have to give 30 days notice. Right, right. Probably from the end of the month, which is coming up here. So um, one month from the first is, is when you will start your new apartment. Right. And what you're going to do is... In that period of time, you're going to find the apartment, sign the lease. You're going to turn on the utilities. Mm -hmm. You're going to, you know, have all the deposits put down. Mm -hmm. Have the electric and the gas and the water and the cable oh, ready everything. to go. You're going to have it all ready to go. Well, we lost you. So if you're still listening on the air, then what you're going to do is you're going to find a day like today when she's not around, and that's the day you're going to schedule the mover to come over and take everything that belongs to you, and you're going to move it to your new place. You're not going to have any drama. You're not going to leave any notes. You're not going to give her your new phone number. Nothing. You're just going to go. Simple as that. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Here is Eric. Eric is listening to our online stream. He's in Kansas City on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, I'm Eric, and I want to know why you're so derogatory towards women. Why I'm what? So derogatory towards women. Derogatory? Did your mother tell you to call in and say that? No. Really? Nope. So who told you to call in? Um, I did it myself. Right. And who told you what to say? I did. I no, I, I happen to know because my producer talked to you, my, my, my screener. Uh, I happen to know your father was coaching you. Yeah, I, I know that for a fact. Part of it, but I mostly did it by myself. I brought up the idea. You thought up what idea? I brought up the idea to call you, and then he started coaching me of what to say. I see. So, so in other words, he did coach you what to say. He didn't necessarily coach me. He told me some things to say at first. Tell my name. Like, tell my name and not tell my last name. Uh-huh. That's just basic. That's Duh. just basic. And how did you find our show? I called from your online station. No, no, but how did you find it? Um, My father listens to it. Oh, and he likes it. Yeah. But I don't. He, why, why do you have a problem with it? Because your derogatory verse relationship, my, my what? women a and it's just not cool. It's what? It's not cool at what, all. What specifically? What is not cool? Um, being derogatory towards women. Specifically, what are you talking? What did I say that was derogatory? Um, like how you always say that whoever's in a relationship is a pussy, and that's that's derogatory. Yeah, or a loser. And also who 
and women are just you really what you really mean by dating chicks is just practically saying um women are devices for sex right that's exactly they're right not, they're not really how would you know um because they're not because i have a mom that's i have a mom and what do you think your dad know, uses your mom for huh what do you think your dad uses your mom for um, he's not my dad. He's my mom's friend. Oh, your he's mom's... Right oh, wait a minute. Your mom's friend. Where's your dad? Um, she's divorced. There we go. So what's really going on here is your mom is a bitter single mom who tells you that your dad is a jerk, right? Most right? likely, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, have you ever wondered about this, Eric? You know how sex works and you know how babies are born, right? You know all that. Yeah. Right? Okay. Did you ever wonder about your mom and why she had sex with a jerk? Um, he was a jerk at the time. Oh, I see. He became a jerk later. Yeah. So you're, you're telling me that somebody could just be a perfectly wonderful individual, and then one day they become a jerk. It wasn't just one day. It just happened day by day and just got worse. Day by day it got worse. Mm -hmm. But he was perfect before that. He wasn't perfect. No one's perfect. But my mom thought he was a good soulmate at the time. Why did but your mom then, want to have a kid with a jerk? She thought that he was a good soulmate. So your mom was a... Time. Oh, she yeah, thought he was a good kidding. soulmate. So your mom was a bad judge of character is what you're telling. She's not a bad judge of character. Well, why did she have a baby with a jerk as a father? Drugs. What? He started using drugs. Oh, so he had never used drugs before. Never smoked pot, never used any drugs, right? He, yeah, he's, his dad... He was drinking, he was drinking milk. What I'm saying is, he can't eat drugs for... He was eating Cheerios for breakfast, and one day he went right to drugs. No, his dad got him onto it. His dad got him onto drugs. So he was there eating M&Ms one day, and his dad said, hey, how about crack? And he went no, right from M&M's to crack. I wasn't born crack. yet, you doofus. What's that? I wasn't born yet. All right, well, I'm trying to give you an idea of what happened back then, okay? My mom already told me the story. Your mom told you the story she wants you to hear, son. It's not right to be derogatory towards women, because if women weren't here, we couldn't exist. By the way, your mom's friend is, by the way, your mom's friend is the next guy she's having sex with. They're not having sex. How do you know? They're not telling you how. Yeah, of course they're having sex. Hey, your mom always, you always got a new uncle or a new friend out there. Right? They aren't. How do and you I'm know? Single, she's the wrong way blind, and she has not wanted to be in a relationship. So your mom doesn't have sex with anybody? No. Well, why, when did she stop having sex? Um, after she got divorced. Oh, so she never, ever had sex with anyone? I, I want to tell you a little something, son, and I know you're going to get mad at me for saying this, but this is what parents tell you when you're a kid. Your mom has, you always have these new friends, and your mom has says, this is your uncle Steve, or this is my friend Bob. These are the guys she's dating. I don't know. I'm telling you. All my family. So she can't say anything about my family. I'm telling you all about it. She works with, or she's known longer. Than I'm telling years. you, I'm telling you that her, her friend is the guy she's having sex with now. They are not having sex. How do you I know? know? Because I'm on her case. Yeah, what do you mean you're on her case? I, I pretty much am always there. I'm the type of person that. So, and, and, so when, when, when your mom's friend is there at midnight, that. you're staying awake and you're in the bedroom checking to see what they're doing. Yes, and fun. At, right, and they're never having sex. You know it for a fact. Yes. Well, you're going to learn everything the hard way, son. I'm not going to learn everything the hard way, but... You, you, you already are. It just began today, son. The Tom Likas Show.